the safety who was injured on one of the final plays last week in that comeback against Texas. Howard to throw again. This is a wide open Malik Knowles for a first down Kansas State. And Deuce is normally used to against Oak State. It's a gain of nine. He gets tripped up for a first down. And they have to get to the 28. Howard throws it down the field. On target, Kane Warner. 38-yard score. Rush comes. Sanders a little bit high that time and incomplete for John Paul Richardson and Julius Prince. Healthy this week with the coverage. Feel like they have a matchup advantage on the perimeter. For those who just joined us, Adrian Martinez still dealing with a knee issue. Deuce Vaughn running away from the Cowboys. Touchdown. A high regard for Bill Snyder. And Mike Gundy, whose team throws with Spencer Sanders to the sideline, and Brennan Presley with a catch in traffic, and he escapes a number of Wildcats, but put the ball on the deck, and Kansas State has the football with Brendan Mott. Now let's see. They're going to say he was down, I believe. Let's see. The officials are talking it over. Oh, oh yeah. Out. I mean, it's not even close. That ball is clearly out. That's Austin Moore, who we highlighted earlier. And just look at the number of silver helmets, Jason. John Paul Richardson giving ground, trying to spin, and driven down by Hayes. Howard feels that rush, then chucks it down the field. That is a wild. And Malik Knowles. Looking for a first conversion on third down. To the sideline it goes. Nice ejection by Knowles. And a flag comes in. Corey Black wants it to be on Knowles. These play calls, huge. Third down throw. Might not need the kicker. Touchdown. Phillip Brooks. Ali Gordon, the freshman tailback, is in. Tom Richardson did not make the trip, as Allison reported. Sanders will throw into coverage and picked off by Brents. Third down and eight. Howard with a screen. That's Warner. He's got blocking, and he is free. Another explosive touchdown for the Wildcats. Deuce Vaughn right up the zipper of the defense across the 40. I like big guys too. I'm happy to share. First down. Oh man, he just got engulfed. Deuce Vaughn gets waylaid by Tui Halamaka. It just starts to zap and wear you down. The old Nintendo game would say. Yep. Howard to throw to the sideline right at the stick for Knowles. Three straight conversions on third down. The Kansas State. Oh, Deuce Vaughn on the accelerator again. Different formation here. Vaughn is in the backfield. He was in the slot before the timeout. Man to man. Far side, Malik Knowles off a block from Sinnott. And a first down, Kansas State. Second down and eight. Howard, our play action. He's got Knowles inside the five and driving and pushing down to the goal line. They're going to mark him down at the half yard line. Right? Yeah, they're going to break the formation. They go empty. It's a throw. Bam! Tosses his body into the ball. And you're going to see it's covered up. It's man-to-man -man coverage. DB jumps that route. It had one spot to hit. I mean one spot on the 5-5 running back. It is a perfect throw. More creeping to the line. They bring pressure. And they do get there. Brendan Mott with the sack for K-State and some flow at the end. Go, 
Third and nine for Howard. And he makes the throw to Knowles. First down, Kansas State. And there's a level of comfort you can read in the body language for Will Howard. This is the freshman Giddens who finally gets wrestled down by Lyric Rawls. Leek Knowles with those seven catches today. That's Brooks in motion. Play fake to him. Over the top instead. He has the tight end Sinnott. Howard out of the empty. Flushed, giving ground, and now he fades it out of the end zone. Tennant would come out for this one, being a short field goal to maybe build the confidence, but Chris Kleiman turns to Zentner, who knocks it through on just his second field goal attempt of his collegiate career. He's... Pressure right up the middle. Sanders whips it down the field, and incomplete for Green. He wanted to come back, but Boydo... Quarterbacks. The quarterbacks will then go and select the balls from practice that are essentially the most beat up and choose those for the game ball. How about that? Oh, oh a little sidestep by Knowles. That is filthy for Malik Knowles who wanted contact from Muhammad. Fourth down and one for Will Howard who has been impeccable today. He's going to try and run for it. And where was the knee down is the question. Will they give him the mark? It looks like the answer is yes. It is in motion. Howard goes that way and he got hit as he threw and that's why it sailed a little bit. This now is the largest lead all time for Kansas State. There's not much in the run game at all. And here comes Felix. And down goes Sanders. So the coach's son, Gunnar Gundy, is the new quarterback for Oklahoma State. And Jaden Nixon is stopped behind the line. Mark Gundy with a son as a college quarterback, a son who's a great baseball player in high school, and this defense is live. Nick Allen, who had 10 tackles last week. We know what you're doing. Kansas State really leaning on that Oklahoma State offensive line. Phillip Brooks keeps his feet, and this could be trouble. Brooks gets to the outside and turns it upfield. And he's inside the 20. And now, TCU on the road beat West Virginia with some explosive plays today. Here's another one for Kansas State and Giddens down at the six, first and goal. But he didn't see this coming today. How could he? I mean, Oklahoma State has been one of the great teams in college football. Giddens rides it to the pylon. And high school baseball. Gundy, a little flick, and that's intercepted, picked off by Kansas State. Jackson got in with a sack earlier, and Crew Jackson, the freshman, with a pick. And this is the kind of tape you put on, and Mike Gundy's done it for 18 years. He has apprehension about playing young people because he knows they're not the times quite ready. Powerful message. We talked about Mike Gundy and his reverence for Bill Snyder and what Bill Snyder did to build this program. He called him the coach of the century. Kansas State today under Chris Kleiman has its biggest point spread at the end of a game against a top 10 team in school history.